In 2011, I'm going to tell you this right now. Major Lazer, we're going to be a problem. We're going to like bring us across the apocalypse. You know, we're going to release plagues on the earth. And we're gonna like just 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 cause chaos. Right now we're just a little problem. But 2011 is it, gonna be a wrap. And it was a wrap, all right. In 2011, God turned DJ Scarrett Boy's life completely around, causing him to leave Major Lazer along with his party boy lifestyle so he could start mixing music for Christ. Yeah. DJ turned from hedonist to holy. Marvy TV had to find out how you do that. I have Scarab Boy and Scarab Boy tell me first of all for those of you who don't know who this cat is what is what is your name where did you come up with that well I'm actually an imaginary character yeah and I just like kind of not here okay I'm actually a figment of your imagination oh, that's how, how's that yeah. work then so you're hallucinating maybe it's due to the heat really? yeah oh, this is okay. bethany's summer kickoff so due yeah. to the heat she's hallucinating and i'm actually just an illusion that she's well you know i had some good illusions then yes yes, yes. i love it i love I believe it i believe i could tell by your hair yes you know what we we'll rocking that hair right now yes when did this hair when because i know you've had this for like you know a minute from that way yeah, you know one about mm, was cotton concocted in the lab by two mad scientists How around 2005 April, I believe, I believe it was 2005 April. Okay, yes. and was there anything that inspired that? That was like, oh, I'm gonna do this with my hair. Yeah, I actually wanted to just look as ridiculous as possible. Really? Yeah. Does that kind of like emulate who you are as a person when you're like in real life and on stage or? What you see is what you get. Yeah. Everywhere, every time, just ask my wife. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you gotta be like, we're in the house. I was like, I know. <laughs> Oh, isn't it just awesome? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be in the dentist's office, like, oh, Jesus, juice. Mm. The dentist be like, could you relax? I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, gosh. And yo, anywhere I go, we always You are always, always on 10. Now, tell yeah. me about this phrase, oh, my Jesus. When was that born? That was born after I got saved. And when was that? Of course. I got saved November 20th, 2011. Now, I know that you used to be out in the club scene, the dance hall scene, like Diplo, Major Lays. I'm just curious as to how the church has accepted this transition. I know it's, it's still pretty new, right? Yeah. How has that been going? You got the extremely good and the extremely bad. Now, what does that mean? Like, I haven't found, like, the middle ground yet. Yeah. It's either I want in the people that's extremely happy to see, like, yeah. know the history and like, yeah. really? Yeah. Amazing! And like, just rejoice and hug right. and, you know what I'm saying? Just, what just, God can do. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then there's the, but you have yellow hair. How could you possibly be saved? Yeah. I'm like, by the blood of Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Like, I, didn't, I didn't know I had to like, you know, get a three-piece portobello suit and some, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't see that in the contract. The, my thing is, I do love my three-piece suits. You know, we like getting it clean and crispy and all that. No problem. But my thing is, you can't force people to look that way. You know, it, and it hurts sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I have no problem with people judging me. No problem. But judge me based on me. Based on my personality. Based on your encounter with me, even my theology, my doctrine, whatever, right. no problem. Yeah. But don't just be like, hey, you have yellow hair, you know, and your jeans are, you are, yeah, right right? are kind of low there, buddy. Like, no, we don't, no, this, this, this isn't the church for you. But thankfully God looks at the heart, right? I know. So, now tell me, now you have um, a thing that goes on in Brooklyn at Stratosphere Studios, yeah. Caribbean Gospel Friday. Now my what's that scene one. like? That scene is Building incredibly I'm I can't wait and to go. just making the most ridiculous noise yeah. on the planet right yeah. now. Because there's nothing like it. I had no idea it existed. And no one knows it exists. You, we got, we gotta thing. change that. We gotta change that. That's the thing. It's difficult to explain to people yeah. when you say, yo, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna play gospel music and shell along the place. Uh -huh. They're like, what? What? Amazing Grace? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, like Kirk Franklin? Yeah, right? like, explain that to me. Like, you're gonna be like playing, like, you know, Kirk Franklin all that? Yeah. Like, no, man. And there's a whole nother world out there. Like it's gonna be disco and dubstep and soca and yeah. dance all. Like, but you just said gospel. I'm like, no, 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 you gotta understand. The gospel is just the word, the message, and the music. And then it's the beat behind it that makes it dubstep, hip hop. And they're like, mm, well, that's interesting. It's not like the calm type of relaxing. It's straight. We are juggle, we are bubble, we are MC, we are beat some domino, we are play some loading, jerk some 
chicken and some right. fish and you see me? Some vibes because my thing is yo, I love my spirituality and I love my prayer and worship and I love my you know, edification and my Bible study and my all night prayer meeting. Just ask my pastor. I don't miss all night prayer meeting. Yeah. I don't miss a Bible study. I don't miss a church. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, okay, I want to hang out with my friends. Think about it. Yeah. How many Jewish festivals did they have? They were always eating. They were always partying. They were yeah. always hanging out. Fellowship was a big part of the Old and New Testament. Right. Jesus hung out with sinners. Jesus hung out with saints. Jesus hung out in the church. Jesus hung out in the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, now why should I be confined? You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm excited. About I ain't worried. I got questions. I'm excited. You know what? You were covered. You are covered, and you know what? We are so so happy that you took the time to talk to us here at Marvy TV. I'm so happy you took the time to talk to me. Yeah, and I can't wait to see you up there. You know, trying to find out. Look, this is my happy face. <laughs> it's lovely, right? It's lovely. We walk in the hair. We walk in the hair for Jesus. <laughs> All right, Sarah Moore, thank you so much. And we'll see you. Keep it locked in the Marvy TV. TV. 3D, HD, flat screen TV. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs>